Okay, hello there. Um, so in this demonstration, what we'd like to show is that the draw DO need not be powered only by the uh, USB uh, or the Arduino that is connected to the computer, which is on the same ground as the headphone, but it could also be powered by something as an OTG cable, and that could be connected to any phone. And the principle holds. Um, so the Besides that, the circuit is the same uh, as before. The, the audio circuit is connected with two leads. Those are the resistances. And um, the headphone jack is used to transmit the signal. It is to receive the signal, I'm sorry. And I'll be using myself as an antenna to transmit the um, frequency. And, um, and I'll, of course, I'll be using an OTG cable to power the audio. So, Give me a second and I'll set it up. Okay, the setup is ready and uh, and I've looped like as usual. I've looped the uh, the output, the input to the headphone jack to the speaker so that you'll be able to be able to hear the output. Based on the tactile input that I'm giving to the resistance, I. Um, the frequency is varying. Let's take a look at the uh, FFT. Uh, as you can see, the gain that I'm giving to the system is actually really, really high. It's almost, it's almost hundred percent, and uh, that's a lot. But um, I guess that there could be some way to, there could be some other way to uh, prevent this or avoid this. But uh, here's the FFT. Okay, this is again a quick reminder that I'll do, I'm I was just using the OTG cable to use the power the radio, and uh, yes, it works with with or without. I mean, with or without you connecting it to a laptop with the same ground, so it works. You just need to tune up the gain to to a high level too in order to receive it. That's all. Bye bye.